Welcome everybody. My name is Floyd and today we're going to be playing Resident Evil. This is one of my favorite games even though, whoops, even though uh admittedly I've never completed it. I've completed many other games in the series such as 2, 3, 4 and 5. I never beat 6 because I honestly didn't like it that much. I've also beaten Code Veronica, although it was a long time ago. But this one I never, I've never actually played all the way through, and that's been bothering me. So I decided that I might as well play it now and uh, upload it here to YouTube. So let me look at the options really quick. Uh, audio. Maybe turn it down a smidge. Yeah, that should be good. Brightness. Controls. Yeah, I'm not using the new controls here. I'm just using the original one. Display. I should probably go with wide because of my TV. Okay. Well, without any further ado, once this saves, I guess we can get straight into it, huh? All right. All right, we're gonna be starting a new game. There's leaderboards? I didn't even know there were leaderboards in this game. Okay, well anyways, Resident let's do it. Evil. Uh, we already talked about all this, and we're leaving the subtitles on. Um, hmm. I think this is like a way to determine your difficulty, but I think I'm just going to go for like what the normal one is. So like going on a hike, good exercise, but it's not too strenuous. And uh, let's see who I'm going to play as. I think I'm going to play as the original Chris. So this should be fun. I'm really looking forward to playing this game. It's been a while since I've even tried to beat it. And it's not like it's ever been too difficult for me to beat. I just would start playing and then somewhere along the line I would, you know... Just get sidetracked. The team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently. Eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
way. Well, there goes the first cutscene of the game. It's pretty intense. Uh, sets up the, the game pretty well, in my opinion, even though the, some of the voice acting is kind of funny. But uh, There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Uh, is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? Where's Barry? He's... No. No. What the fuck? What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Alright, so I guess they want us to go check out what the noise was. So that's what we're gonna do. Walk over here. It still amazes me how good they made this game look. Uh, so there's an emblem right here. But uh, I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Some blood. But where we really want to go, I think it's through this door. Just so gonna check over here. Barry. That's fucking gross, man. Shit. Okay, time to leave. Goodbye. I'm not sticking around for that. I saw what he did to the guy guy's face. Nah. It's not me. Not happened. Not Chris. Oh great, now they're gone. Let's go. Jill? Where did they go? Good question. Got a gun here. I'm gonna take that, because all I have right now is a knife, so take what I can get, I guess. Start the, the search for Wesker and Jill. So. Don't really want to, but I'm going to head back to where we just saw that zombie. Hopefully it's not, it's not still lurking around anywhere. It won't cause me any trouble. Walk over here. Oh shit. Nope, nope. Nope. Take a look at this guy's body, if I can. Oh, it's Kenneth. Get out of here before that dude comes down the hallway, even though he's making his way really slowly. Check this out. Look at the dust particles and the lighting. That's really cool. It's got a magazine here. I need that for my handgun. Corpse. Instant death. Alright, found some herbs. These are what you use to heal yourself in the game. So I'm going to pick this one up. 
I'm gonna leave the other one in case I need it. It's going up here. Now I don't know everything about this game, but I have played a good deal about uh, deal of it, I should say. So there might come a part where I get stuck. Oh shit! <laughs> and uh, there might be some parts that I just breeze through. So we'll see how it goes. You gotta be. A, uh, I hear a zombie. But I don't know where he's at. To go through this door. Oh, I unlocked it. Okay, cool. All right, here I am on the balcony. Oh, these are defensive weapons. You can use them to like get a zombie off you, and this just explains uh, how to use them. So I got that. Head around this way. This dude is going to give me problems. I can already see it. Alright. I'm just going to turn around. <laughs> I don't want to mess with him. But I do have to get over here. To uh, push this. So maybe he'll stay on the other side of the balcony long enough for me to do what I need to do. And then get out of here. Again, with the, the lighting, it's so good. All right. Got that to drop. Can okay, I make it through the door? Oh, yes. Whew. All right. Let's see what's down here. Oh, we got the stairwell. Now this door, I think, leads directly outside, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that's where we need to go next. Ah, uh, yes, I was right. I remember this part. Okay. Do I go this way? I'm going to check what's over here. Oh, there's something there. But it's locked from the other side. Huh. Okay. It's like I don't really have a choice but to come over here, so. Uh, I don't see any. Oh, wait, wait. Found a box. A box of shotgun shells. Let's go. Even though I don't have a shotgun. That's cool. Oh, I'm walking in the shit. Alright. So I'm going to head over here. I believe I need this. Uh, I need the arrow for this. So I'm going to... Examine this really quick. And. A paradox. I'm going to use this on uh, this uh, engraving here. This is when creepy would never go down here if it was. Uh, this was something that really happened to me. Alright, so we got a book of curses. So let's oops. Let's read that. We got a little Oh, there's a key on the back. Let's go. It's a mansion key. Alright, Book of Curses. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four... Uh, when all four fall into place, evil will awaken. 
That sounds fucking dandy. So, let's see what kind of key this is. Sword key. Okay. Sword key. Sword key it is. So, I think my work is done here for now. So, I'm going to head back up the cre uh, these, these creepy ass stairs. Number, let's see. Oh, shit. Wrong way. So, I'm, not, I'm not still not the best at uh, using these controls, even though they're the ones I'm used to. To me, the... Um, the like mixed controls they came up with for this game are even weirder than the original ones for me. But uh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I'm gonna switch to my gun now. Have a little more protection. Let's go check out this side of the mansion. I see something shiny. Right up there. So I believe I can use this to uh, reach it. Jump up here really quick. Map of the mansion first floor. Yes, I want that. Thank you. I got the map. The map. And so I'm going to push this back. Man, the music is so creepy in this game. Like, they really nailed it with the, uh, with the scare and, like, creep factor. Looks like we got a old storage space for some rare things and artwork. Another defensive weapon. Can always use those. Hope. Oh. oh shit, we're in a corner too. Chris, what the? F what are you doing? All right, all right. No. Get him with the with the knife. Yes, I'm out. So out. I'm gonna leave that there so he can't get out. And I'm gonna use the sword key. Leave it to Chris, man. Falling over and stuff. What the? Come on, dude. No, we trained you better than that. Oh, shit. Dude, it's a little stuff like that that just throws me off. Like the glass breaking, just out of nowhere. Like, I forget about the little things that happen. Hey, I got another dagger. I think there's another uh, uh, item I could get. Can I push this one? No, is it this one? Yes. Oh. Okay, I can't push it that way though. Let me push it the other way. Oh, it's a magazine. Could always use those. If I'm gonna need them. See what's in this door, uh, this this room. That's the bathroom. Okay, that looks disgusting. That water looks horrifying. Yes, get rid of it. Oh, oh my gosh. That zombie's like, why did you disturb my my bath? 
I was soaking. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Shit. Damn it. I keep wasting those things. Yeah, you can probably tell it's been a while since I've played this one. Because suck. I'm out. Oh, there's something in the tub. I forgot. Nearly left without it. But I can't carry any more items. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't want to. But, uh... I'm going to use this herb. Just so I can take this key. Will you take the old key? Why, yes, thank you. All right. So let's get a move on. Dude, the knife stance is so cool. And you can, like, back off with it, like, slowly back away. It's pretty dope. You might be able to unlock. Oh, sweet. Okay. I knew I needed the old key for somewhere around here. Just couldn't remember exactly where. But it turns out it was like right there. Oh, sh dogs. Bag of chemicals. I do remember that I need this for later. Bag of chemicals. What a weird item to need. Just a bag of fucking chemicals. Double doors. Oh, it's God. Fuck. Alright, forget him. keep forgetting where they set these zombies that just pop out. I mean, they're there to scare you, kind of like, you know. But, shh. Alright. Seriously. Back off, Jeremy. Dude, get... I swear to God, man. I'm poking the shit out of you. Just fall, damn it. <laughs> Stop being uncooperative. Get away. Stop it. Oh, great. Here we go. This is what I needed. Dude, just fall already. You serious? No, oh, don't grab me. Please don't. Just fall. Just fall. Yes! <laughs> what in God's name? Okay, maybe I can get this guy the juke. You ready? Yes. Fucking excellent. So hopefully, um, hopefully I can uh, continue to give zombies the juke for the rest of. Uh, the game, but I know that won't happen because um, I'm just not good like that, you know. But I think I would have went into it earlier, but the zombie was blocking the way. That there, there's a uh, this is a is this is a saving room. Cause I kind of need to save the game. Ah, uh, yes, it is indeed. So, okay. Check out what's in our treasure chest at the moment. I don't think we need these until I actually have a shotgun. And I know I'm gonna have to pick up a lot of more like other things, so I'm gonna leave the chemicals here as well. But I am gonna save the game, so I need these. Uh, so let's go ahead and save. 
Oh, is it old key? Oh, sweet. Didn't even see that. Yes, use the ink ribbon. So I'm going to save over my old Jill playthrough that I didn't finish. <laughs> um, okay. Chris, one East Wing storeroom. So uh, I think there's a fuel canteen here. I remember this being here. Can't carry any more items. So let me put my uh, ink ribbons up. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, that works. <laughs> So I see us even more ammo laying around. Can always use ammo. The warm light makes you relax. I like that. Oh, this kerosene here. Oh, all right. I think I can fill this uh this um, canteen to uh, burn zombies so they don't come back. You, okay. I don't know how much exactly is in the uh, the canteen. Like how many times I can burn zombies. Well, I mean, I can't even burn them. But wait, yes, I can. I have the lighter. May appear to be dead, but in fact are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent this from okay incineration <laughs> or destruction of the hit. So get a headshot or burn them after you kill them. Um, oil has been placed. I guess that's what we just found. All right. So now... So now we have a, a good uh, good start into the game. I don't think I need to walk out with all these items in my in my possession because I'm not gonna be able to pick anything up. So I think I'm gonna drop this old key off just for the time being, and hopefully I can find some herbs. So I'm not gonna take that first aid spray with me. Uh, just because I don't think I'll need it that badly. So I'm going to head back out now. Oh, what do you know? There's an herb right there. Whoops. I'm like running into the guardrail. This guy... You're getting burned, dude. You annoyed the ish out of me. You deserve it. You definitely deserve it. I'm lighting your ass up. What? I can't use it. What are you talking? Oh, shit. Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 